everyone, this is another video from Siemens PLC Programming and today we are going to learn about the math instruction in TIA portal and how you could use that in your ladder logic programming. So for learning about that, we start with one example. So here I put two up counter so which they are able to uh, count these input that you have so if you didn't watch our previous uh, video regarding the op counter the link is in the top of the screen please watch that so i put two op counter which they are able to uh, get or counting these clock pulse that coming from one of the switch in in our uh, input port so two up counters so I actually uh, set two switch one switch in input zero for actually counting the pulse the second one for reset which is the input zero for uh, counting and the uh, input one for uh, reset the first counter similarly so the input two the toggle switch input two that i have for a second counter that i have i name that counter two and the input two and three is for clock pulse that means this one is counting or the pulse or uh, clock of the second counter and this one for resetting that. So this is what we already learned in uh, up counter uh, video. So I put 100 as a PV, which means whenever it see the pulse here, so it start to count and you see the value in uh, CV, which is the current value. So let i actually move from online mode here so okay so two counter so you have four switch two of them for actually giving the pulse for counter one and two this counter one read this pulse that coming from input zero and counter two read the pulse coming from input two and definitely you see the result in cv that you have so for this CV, you use actually the memory, the size is word. So whatever you see in the current value, it's saved in the memory with this address, which is omega zero. So same thing for seeing the value of the current value of counter two, you save inside internal memory, its address is MW2, which is both of them is the size is the word. So if you, don't know why this is W0 this is W2 please watch our previous video which is the PLC internal addressing so the link is in the top of this screen so MW0 for this MW2 for this and technically these two these are the internal memory which keep the value of current value of counter 1 and counter 2 so what is the new here we want to actually use the math function that whatever you have in counter one and two somehow it's at their value and show the result in output so let i do one small change here okay so for doing that so you actually come as usual to the instruction that you see here we have one folder here which is the math function if you click on that there is a lot of math function available in the ti portal for today we use add and subtraction but you see that's not just the one so these there is too many uh, math function that you could use if you understand one of them easily you could use the rest so for this case, we want to use add. So you just, as usual, just drag and drop the these add to here, which is network three. I put network one, counter one, network two, counter two, and in network three, I put the add function from uh, math instruction. So I put here what you see in the add function. So there is two inputs. So in the 
first input is whatever I have in the current value of counter 1. For that reason, you see I put uh, MW0 is one input, so MW2, which is the current value of the counter 2, in the second one, and I see the result in third, actually, internal address, which is MW4. So, again, if you don't know why I use MW0 and then jump to the 2 and 4, so there is a reason for that, you, because you don't want to have the conflict of the addressing. So, again, I have a recorded video for that. Watch the link. Uh, the, watch the video, which you see the link in the top of the screen. So, this is what should be happen. This counter count, this second counter count, and the, the, these uh, blocks, which is the add, is should be at these two number. And all the time here, you see this number plus this number, and the result should be here. So if you want to mention feed one application, suppose you you this is a sensor that count how many cars get from entrance one to your parking lot. This is actually checked in trans 2. So definitely if you want to know how many cars do you have inside your parking, definitely you need to add these two numbers. So that means this number that you see shows how many cars right now you have in your uh, parking lot. That's one application, but definitely you could find too many applications for that. So let's to implement this. So let's to go to... Uh, actually let to do yeah probably I need to go first I been I think in the online mode so let to just turn this off so then I go to compile it as usual so then load it to the PLC and see if it works or not working so I compile I then load it so it's going to be load to my PLC because I made some changes it says do you want to save it I say yes so then it save it load it to the PLC then it should be ready to go so it looks it is ready and it is in a current mode so let I adjust this a little bit that able to let to see if I could minimize this yes I could so also I move this a little bit down that able to see this one so let to see what I could do with this okay let I take this this side and what I want to have I want to see the all these three networks so a little go down it is too much let to do that just a little bit okay now is good okay so I put these back here so this is actually the live mode so let I summarize what we have here. Let I turn on my uh, second camera that you see the PLC too. So this is what happened. We have two counter here. So this is counter one. So the the input the zero, which is this input that you see, which you see the LED here. So this is this input. That means the IO0 is this. So that means whenever I toggle that, definitely should be able to count uh, the pulse. So this is the second IO1, which I put in this toggle switch. I'm able to reset that. So if you want to try the first, this one, let to do that. Let to see first counter works. First I reset it. It's back to the zero. Now with toggling, it's able to count. So as you could see, it's called the two, three. Right now it's four. Then with this, you could reset that and back to the zero. So it works. So let's to check the second counter. Second counter, IO2 is the pulse that comes to the second counter. And the I input is input three is the reset. Let's to test that. So now you see the pulse, it goes to the 
Oh, it's well. Let, let, let I first put on the zero. It's much better. So now it's zero. I actually put that reset. I reset it to zero. Then I start to count, as you could see, two, three, four, five. And you could actually have count on to 100. So let I reset that. So that means whatever you see here, you have two counters. So what's happened here, you use the math function add, which able to count these uh, current value of counter one. That's the reason you see this MW0 here and MW2, which is the current value of the second uh, counter. What you should see here is the add of these two numbers. So currently is 0 plus 0, you see 0. So let I count from the uh, first counter. So now I have, let I load, for example, 3 in uh, counter 1. Then I come here and load 2 in counter 2. So what I should have, I have 3 here, 2 here. So if you add these two, 2 plus 3 is 5, and you see the 5 here. So keep going. So if I add actually, again, just send more uh, clock pulse or pulse to the counters. Let's see what I have. 7 plus 5. What is 7 plus 5 is 12, and you have 12. So as you could see, whatever you have easily, this one will be this counter 1 plus counter 2. So as I mentioned before, there is the other function inside these uh, math instruction, so which is easily you could even change that. So as I mentioned before, so the place that you could find it is, let's see, could I make that a little bigger? Yes, so that's as as you could see here. It is the math function. This is add sub and there is a few other uh, few other math function that you could use based off the application that you have. So let to try the subtraction too. So let to see how I'm changing. The one way is you drag and drop this sub, but if you click this corner of these add, probably I need to stop it and stop that from the online mode move to the offline mode and see if you click let to see not this one this is shows auto yeah here so see if you click on these add it give you the other function that you have and easily without uh, without actually uh, bring other uh, math function easily you could change here I'm switch from add to sub which is a subtraction and what should be happen this time whatever you see here should be counter one minus counter two let I give you one example so you have again back to the uh, parking lot examples that we had in our previous video if you didn't uh watch the parking a lot example the link is in the top of this screen take a look to that example so suppose you have the sensor which keep the number of the cars that get inside the parking lot and this counter two is counting the number of the cars that go out of the parking lot so that means this is how many cars you get in this sensor counting how many go out so that means if you I want to see how many cars currently I have in the parking lot I should somehow subtract this minus this so definitely the sub is the best uh, math function to use so that means the current number of the cars that you have is uh, counter one which is in your entrance minus the value that you have in your exit so if you subtract these two number of the cars get in minus number of the cars go out it this value that you have here in MW4 keep number of the cars currently you have in parking lot so let to see if it works or not so let to as usual compile it then load it because I changed that add to the sub definitely I need to uh, reload that to the PLC so it says overwriting yes so let to 
have everything there okay so it's good so let I do the same thing that I did last time I move this a little bit down that able to see all three network one and two and three that's good so now let's go to the uh, online mode so I put in the online mode again it's move a little down that I put that a little down that able to see all three networks in the same time so I think right now is good a little more a little more a little more yeah it's good so right now we could see the all three networks that we have so and then the right side you could see the PLC so I summarize what we did number one we have counter one which you see <laughs> yeah unfortunately I move this and again we put this a little down let I back to here okay now is good so take a look to what you have here the counter one so this this input that you see is this input zero which I toggle with this switch so the I this reset is this one the I one which I reset that so this pulse is this one which is I two I give pulse to the second counter and this one is I three input three which is I able to reset that so whatever I want to see or save inside this variable is the subtraction of these two so let to do that so let to let to see the values this is res this is zero this no this is not zero this is seven let to reset that first so I'm going to reset that with this so right now I have zero set to reset the second one so now I reset it it is zero suppose this is early in the morning you actually come to your parking you just reset that to switch which is shows there is no car in your parking lot now let to check this I got I don't know five car from the entrance let to put on six which is I have six here so then two of them go out which the sensor able to sense so I have two so six get in two get out so the subtraction should be here so six minus two is four that's right so let I if we, one cars go out you have six minus three is three one more go out you have six minus four is two now if you get I don't know few more cars get on ten so still this is four ten minus four is a six so as you can see it works so even it could keep keep you the negative number so see if you have 10 car in 8 9 and 10 cars go out definitely there is no car which is the zero so for this example the negative has no meaning but the, sub the subtraction you need to do its job right you have 10 minus 12 right now is negative to the subtraction do its job so the theory is fine but really in the parking lot example it's never happened right so that means the number of the cars go out couldn't be more than whatever get in so as you could see it works so this is actually a simple example that shows how you could use the math instruction in TIA portal I hope you like this video thank you for watching